it's Bernadette with Black Paw, and this is part two on our nail clipping video. This is Spinner. He's a lovely standard poodle who's been in training with us. And he's a good example of dogs who can be tricky to trim their nails. He has black toenails, and a lot of people are intimidated by black toenails because it's difficult to see the quick. On white toenails, it's pretty easy to see where you have a little bit of a tip that you can take off, but black ones can be tricky. So, Spinner is very good about having his nails clipped, luckily. So um, we have our clippers. We have a preference for these type of scissor type clippers. It's important that they're sharp. If they're really old and they get dull, they tend to kind of crush the nail. So you need good, sharp nail clippers. If you have a small dog or a cat, you can also use the smaller version that look like scissors. The other thing you wanna have on hand when you're doing your own nail clipping is either quick stop, it's called styptic powder, or cornstarch. In case you do get the quick, you wanna be able to stop the bleeding. And it is a minor thing, you know, usually stops very easily. But I wanna give you sort of the key steps of how to do it. So the first is, we always start with picking up the dog's paw and putting it kind of behind him like this. You don't wanna pull it out in front of him, right in front of his face, where he's going to be watching you come with the nail clippers and he's more likely to flinch or get nervous. So kind of put his foot behind him like that. Now, Spinner has black nails, so the key is to just take a little bit at a time. Little small slivers until you start to see the quick. So when you see the quick, it looks like a little black dot. If the nail, you're starting to see it a little bit on this nail right here, right there, that little black dot is the quick, if you can see that. If the nail still looks white and chalky, so this is the one that we haven't done, just take a little bit, little slices, until you start to see the black dot, and there it is, right there in the center. That's where you would stop. The biggest mistake people make is taking too much in one big chunk. Just take a little bit at a time. That is your key to doing a good nail clipping. And then don't forget their dew claws, which um, Spinner looks like his dew claws have been removed, but most dogs who haven't been altered have a dew claw on the inside of the front foot. And so that is how you do it. Just slow and easy. Take your time getting your dog used to the process so that he's not fearful about it. And then just small little bits. At first, if you need to, you can reward in between each little snip. I've got my treat pouch on me, you know, to help him to be more comfortable with that. But make it a positive process so that the dog is not fearful and it will be a lifelong skill that he'll have.